Ooh, it's a little wiggle tail. Ooh, it's a little wiggle tail. It's Daisy. It's Daisy. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This should be a premiere, right? So how exciting. Hey guys, I should be in the chat with you. We are officially in peak week. Good morning, Kitty. Hey, hey Violet. Careful, so there's all the stuff that I need to take with me. Put some washing there. Don't mind that, you know, just life things. Got my gym bag ready to go because we are going to train the last glute. And I've been umming and ahhing about whether I wanted to train in the morning or in the afternoon, but I didn't sleep as well. So I think I want to try and have a nap at lunch. And it's always better for me to leave the dogs alone in the mornings because they're kind of used to that. So, the first meal of the day is going to be my pre workout meal, which is going to be 70 grams of cream of rice with around 35 grams of whey protein. And this cream of rice is the maple syrup. I think, yes, it's the maple syrup. It's the maple syrup from Carter Support Nutrition with the Perform carrot cake. Highly recommend. Very nice as whey protein. Carrot cake. I like all of these. I like Perform whey. Very nice quality protein. Always fantastic flavors. And uh, if you want any of these products, you can get them from Micro Supplements. Discount code SHIKARA10. I don't think they ship outside the EU. Additionally, I'm gonna have for my aminos today, my favorite, the Candy Apple Rancher. These EAAs are delicious from Innova Farm. And my pre-workout is gonna be a cocktail of a Innova Farm again, I'm feeling it. The Neuropump with a little bit of Alpha Neon Dark Side Onslaught for my stimulation. That's going to be my pre-workout cocktail. Also all available for my core supplements. So, big week. What does it mean? It looks like it means that I'm eating more food. Um, I should disclaim. Watch this only for your information purposes. I am literally a week out from a bodybuilding show that I've been working towards pretty much since the beginning of this year. I've had a very strict off season. I've had some very good results, which if you want to see the before and afters from my last competition show day, um, checking in versus um, yesterday checking in, officially a week out. Check out the last weekly recap vlog. Vlog? 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 I am... Uh, being coached by a professional. Uh, I am checking in with him daily. My food changes every day pretty much. So he actually upped my calories because my weight dropped to 68.8 kilos. So yesterday I was exactly the same weight as I was show day last year. But I'm obviously more muscular and leaner now. Addition, I'm the same weight again today even though I had a higher carb day yesterday. I have another high carb day today, I think. And then I don't know if he's gonna change it for tomorrow. I'll just remind him. Not an awful lot different. It's, um, so my post-workout has gone from 30 grams of cream of rice to 50 grams. No, my meal one has gone from 30 grams of cream of rice to 50 grams of cream of rice. And my three, three times a day, no, no. My three times a day rice has gone from 100 grams to 150 grams. So it's only a minor change. Uh, but it's a change nonetheless, which is nice. Oh no, and my chicken's gone up as well. So my protein went from 120 to 150. So last leg day going down now. The reason we do a leg day early in the week is because we want to try and minimize as much inflammation as possible in the legs so that they come in looking as sharp as possible. This is usually speaking there why you cut back on exercise in the run up to peak week and you don't, in the run up to show day, I mean, I'm in peak week, but in the run up to show day. 
So the way my legs look now, as you just saw, they will probably improve by maybe 15, 20%, no joke. Once I'm dehydrated, carved up, and once I've stopped exercising them and the inflammation from walking and training has gone out of them, they will look very sharp and they're looking good already. So I'm also gonna have a sauna because I really just feel like I wanna have some me time, some chill time, have a sauna because I also wanna wash my hair. And once I've washed my hair this week, I'm not gonna do another sauna because saunas and washing hair and it's, it's a thing. So tonight I'll do a nice scalp scrub after I've been to the sauna later today. I'm picking up my bikini, so that's exciting. And that's it, so I'm gonna shut up now because this is probably gonna be a long video anyway. My vlogs usually are. Eat my breakfast and then I'll see you guys in the gym. good training like I don't know why but I'm actually in a really good mood and I feel really energized and like my strength is pretty good and everything which is crazy for a peak week I still didn't train heavy though because I don't want to get muscle pain and I don't want to like injure myself but still anyway let's go and pick up the bikini I haven't seen it yet with the rhinestone so I'm super excited let's go and get it Ooh, I'm so excited I'm gonna open it up and take a look now. Even though I literally just left there, I just need to, I need to look now. Holy crap, I say that. Okay, I'm gonna look at home because I need to cut this open with scissors. Fuck, I want to look now. 
All right, let's open this parcel. First of all, I appreciate it comes in this box. So it's a uh, Tanita bikini suit. She's actually a Bulgarian uh, bikini. Right, so. <gasps> Hold on, let, let me look first, let me look first. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is so nice. Look. So that's the, the bottoms. <laughs> Very small bottoms, but this is wellness. Here is the bikini top. With the fascinate with the connectors. Oh, it's gonna look so nice with the tan. And uh, I've got a little hair tie. That's cute, isn't it? Some spare rhinestones if necessary. And oh, it's pretty, isn't it, Kitty? Yeah, she's so pretty. And I even got a robe to wear backstage. So I will definitely be wearing that. I'm fucking starving, but we need to do a try on haul, don't we? We need to do a try on. Out of all the hauls, out of all the things to try on, this is the one thing we have to try on. So let's get into the bedroom! It's quite a few hours later, it's still Monday though, and uh, I've been doing some work, I've done some hoovering, I've prepped a meal for later, I've been squeezing spots, I don't know, I've got really bad breakouts, like proper like hormonal breakouts, which is interesting because I don't think I should be having my period, which I don't get anymore, but like uh, per my cycle, as it's been going, that shouldn't be until like another week and a half, two weeks. But then also I'm taking Arimidex and I'm also obviously very lean. So I don't know if that's kind of throwing off my hormones. Oh, I know it is, but uh, the good thing is if I'm having breakouts now, that should clear up by Sunday. So I'd rather have the breakouts now than have them on a Sunday. I mean, I can cover up with makeup, but still it's just not nice to have fucking big angry spots on your face, is it, when you're uh, about to compete. The unfortunate thing is, is that there's a big chance I'm going to be bloated. If this is if this is hormone related, which it is, because uh, I only get spots like this here when it's hormonal, it means that there's a big chance that I'm going to be potentially bloating on the weekend. And I've hit a massive slump. Uh, I feel very low in energy, I feel really hungry. And I think it's because I actually had a quite good training today and I did a sauna. Always makes me feel- I'm going to put everything in. Yeah, it'll happen. Don't worry about it. It's an early morning. How are the pet chips? Yes. Can I help you? What is it? Are you looking at mummy? Do you need to go for pee pee? Do you need to go for pee pee? Hey. <laughs> Who are the most dramatic yawners in the land? Cutie pie. Cutie pie. <laughs> Who's a good girl, then? Who's a happy girl? Do you need to go for pee pee? Come on, then. Let's go. Let's go for pee pee. Be nice. Hey, be nice. Come on. Oh. Grillies, are we going to go for pee pee? Are you playing with your sister, Daisy? Where is she? Where is she, Daisy? Violet Daisy. Huh? Where is Violet? <laughs> <laughs> Shh, sh, 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 sh
girls. It's too early. Come on, let's go for pee pee. Alright, I'm back from my dog walk. And uh, I'm gonna feed the doggies now. It is, by the way, is this better? It is, by the way, Tuesday. And we're five days out. My weight is up by a kilo overnight. And I think it's because, one, I slept very bad, as you can tell. I uh, fell asleep around nine. Woke up at 12, thinking it was like the next day, morning, you know, time to get up wasn't. And I, I was like, I sweats and stuff, so I, I went hypoglycemic. So I had some whey protein with a little bit of rice. Uh, I managed to sleep till 3, 3.30, and then I got up, did some work, walked the dogs. Now, uh, they need to eat. I need to eat my pre-workout because I'm going to train this morning because I really want to do try and have a nap at lunch. I need to get some food shopping, but I think I'll do that after, after I've had my uh, post-workout meal. Um, so I'll come home first, have my post-workout, do a bit more work. Have me a while and then I think I'll go out and do uh, my food shopping because the shop's is here but I do really want to get my work done and then maybe have a nap after that, we'll see. I need to check in as well so I'm gonna do that now basically. <laughs> So that is a check-in done. The only thing that I need to do is send it to your scene, which I will do when I'm doing my cardio. So today will be the last training session. I'm going to go in and just do upper body. I'll take you with me. Uh, but when I'm warming up, I will do the collage, send that to him with a little spiel of like how I'm feeling, etc. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to have my pre-workout meal now, which is 70 grams of cream of rice, 35 grams of whey protein and some salt. The cream of rice is the JP Nutrition Chico Triple Triple Chocolate. And I also have through here the Perform Nutella Whey. And um, it's very nice. So I'm gonna eat this and then go to the gym and try some upper body basically, the last training session. Do some cardio, to respond to some DMs. Then when I get back, I have my post-workout meal, do some work, meal one, get some food shopping, and then have some nap. That was the plan at least. Gym, back from the food shopping, I did this actually right after the gym. Uh, cooked myself some beans, made myself some rice, cooked myself up a lot of chicken. Didn't season the chicken for the simple reason that I don't know if he's gonna cut, cut salt or if he's gonna, because I'm getting my meal plan through day by day, but obviously I'm gonna go away, so I need to plan ahead slightly. And I'm, I'll end up taking all of the chicken with me, so I don't have to cook it there. But in case Basically, he tells me tomorrow to cut salt, then at least I have no, um, I have unseasoned chicken. So what I'll do for now is just add the chicken, um, add the sis, add salt and seasoning. It's just going to be salt to be honest, for a couple of days it's fine. Um, just add the seasoning afterwards. I've uh, been doing some work, done my emails, most of them are done. And uh, I just need to go to the vet now, because I need to get Rosie a medicine. 
and I didn't have it at the other vet that I went to, so I need to just, there's a vet up there I need to walk to, and then I might just see as well, like, if I can book Violet in for um, neutering, spading, sterilizing, whatever. So wasp there. Let's kill it before the animals decide to play with it and get stung. There's often wasps here actually, it's kind of annoying. So I ate my post workout, I ate my meal one. I will walk the dogs literally in a second once I've killed this motherfucker. Just like that. As I'm walking the dogs, I'll uh, go to the vet straight away and when I come back, I'll eat again probably and then I might just try and see if I can have a nap. That's, that's the plan. It's okay. Oh, they're scared. They're scared because I use a towel for eating. Are you scared because mommy used a towel to kill the wasps? Hey. Hey, my friends. Hey, my girlfriend. Daisy, 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 daisy. Rosie, Rosie, Rose, Rose, Rose. Hey, Rose. You need some more medicine, don't you? Hey, Daisy. Kissy, kissy, kissy. Kissy. Kissy, kissy, kissy. Shall we go for walkies? Huh? Yes, so, oh my gosh, somebody's excited to go. Shall we go for pee -pee? Oh, yeah, we are definitely gonna go for pee, -pee. They didn't have, I've been to two vets now and they didn't have this medicine, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat first and then try and have a nap and then later this afternoon I'll uh, phone around and see if any vets has it. Um, try that then basically before I drive off to places because yeah that's just a hassle in it so apparently it's an old medicine so knowing my luck nobody fucking has it we are many hours later it's like six o'clock I just ate my fourth meal which was steak and beans very delicious I also had a shower washed my hair Phoned up several vets. This medicine is just really difficult to get. Then I looked online for alternative uh, medicine and actually it's a really common problem. It's a medicine that not a lot of vets stock. So instead what I did is I just got her the pain medicine that she was on before the Perficox or Pervicox or whatever it's called that worked fine and she can be on that because it's not damaging to her liver or her kidneys. So she's got that painkiller now. Hey <laughs> funny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'll be sure that she's uh, just want to make sure that she's got painkillers for whilst I'm gone. And then when I get back, I'll have to take her to the vet. I spoke to the vet there. They did confirm that they can do spading and neutering too. I will book in Little Violet for that when I get back. I mean, I can't afford now anyway, but let's just get the show out of the way first and then I'll uh, sort out that I'll get Rosie looked at again by a different doctor and I'll get the cat castrated. The dogs need to be neutered too, but I'll have to see how much money I've got because the computing is quite expensive, guys. So, I don't, don't even want to tell you how much, money, how much money I've spent on it. But besides that point, um, if not, I can get it done in October. I, dare, I can use it September, when I get paid in September for it. So, nothing else is happening for the rest of the day. I'm just chilling. I kind of napped a little bit earlier, which was nice. Been watching some TV, which is highly unusual for me. And that's it. So tomorrow I've got a few things to sort out, but for the most part, I'm just relaxing. I did end up booking an apartment for tomorrow in Romania because I arrive at six o'clock in the morning and I can't check in until three o'clock in the afternoon. And that's just too long. I can't. With the food that I'm taking with me, I can't hang around in Bucharest for that long. Um, and my food's gonna get spoiled. So I figured I'd get an apartment, a cheap one, near the train station or bus station. And then I can just check in in the morning when I arrive and then just leave. Because if even if I get to spend like six, seven hours there, that's enough time for me to chill my food, maybe get some food prepped if necessary, have a bit of a nap, and then I can go out. And if I need to spend a couple of hours in Bucharest, that's fine. A whole morning is just not fine. Even if I take a cool box, which I will, the cool blocks don't stay cool, cool for like 12 hours. They stay cool for maybe like six, seven. So yeah, hopefully that's fine. 
shouldn't be an issue, I don't think, but we'll see. So, that's the end of this day, I think. I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be doing a lot of packing and organising of bits. So it will be a bit more eventful of the day. So, it is Wednesday morning, so I'll think for a second, and um, basically, uh, I'm awake to 69.6 this morning, <coughs> down from yesterday, still up from my lowest. I think it is because I've had three training days in a row, three high calorie days. And well, if you know, you know, I, I haven't been to the toilet again since Sunday morning, I think. So it makes sense that my weight's up, but I'm feeling shit about how I'm looking today, which is not nice. Um, so regardless, I'm about to do my check-in, walk the dogs. I cleaned my makeup brushes because I forgot to do that and I'm actually doing a girl's makeup there. So I just want to definitely make sure that I have clean brushes. Plus it's nice to have clean brushes, you should clean them anyway. But um, if I'm going to do somebody else's makeup as well, I want to make sure that they're at least somewhat clean. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of things I want to do. So I'm going to make a list because I'm afraid I'm going to forget things otherwise. So let me write the list and then I'll uh, talk you through it. All right, so I think I've got everything here. I've got to pack my bags, wash my sheets, put new sheets on, that's part of it. Hang up my washing, uh, put away my washing. I've got a wash that's on, I need to put some washing away. I need to get some cash, I need to clean the apartment, I need to drop off the cat and the dogs, I need to get petrol, I need to clean the car, and I need to check in, and I need to set up my laptop, because uh, I don't use it very often, but I do need to take it with me. I kind of want to maybe go to a tech shop to see if I can get one of those portable like uh, charger things, so you charge up, and then if you need to charge your phone and stuff from it, you can, because obviously I've got like quite a long uh, bus journey tonight. And uh, I don't know if there's like plugs in the bus, which there probably isn't. And I think my headphones are fucked and they, they won't charge. Now, they still have charge, so I don't actually have to buy any yet. And I could do not by buying new headphones because they're kind of pricey. But I might have to get some new headphones in Romania. Or maybe they'll have enough battery until I come back. I'll have to wait and see. So I'll pack two suitcases as well. I'll show you when I'm doing the packing or talking through it at least. I'll do a small suitcase. Like a carry-on suitcase, I'll take that with me to the venue, in which I can put in like food and change of clothes and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, but obviously I'll use it now for stuff as well. And then I'll have a big suitcase just for all my normal clothes. And then I'll take like a tote, ba a tote bag in which I'll stick a small rucksack. Passports. I need to make sure that I've got the door animal passports as well, as well as mine. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have my coffee now. Well, yeah, about the charge thing, I kind of feel like I want to get one, but I don't think if it's necessary, I'm not sure if it's necessary or not. Because I should be fine, uh, because I'll probably be sleeping a lot on the bus, because it's throughout the night. Uh, and I'll leave here with, like, basically a full charge phone. That's the plan, anyway. Okay, so I have been quite busy. I've had some breakfast. Um, what else have I done? I don't actually remember, but... Oh yeah, put my washing away, put some washing on, and now I'm just going to pack my suitcase. So, I'm taking a lot of clothes because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing when I'm there, so I just want to make sure that I have a bit of everything. Um, a lot of gym clothes, obviously, because I train a lot, and I don't know if I'm going to be training there or not. Uh, got some shorts, got several dresses for different occasions, uh, a couple of comfy tops, just to daytime t-shirts and yeah I'm just going to try to see if I can fit it all into my into my suitcase here this I'll put in here into the small suitcase which is the one that I'm going to take to the venue
There's the suitcase packed. I've got a bit of everything just in case. For traveling tonight, I'm gonna wear these pink trousers. They're very loose material. It's kind of uh, like loungewear uh, with a crop top t-shirt over it. And then I will also wear, I'll take with me like a, like a comfy long sleeve, uh, like long sleeve hood jumper for the simple reason that I don't know how cold it's gonna be in that bus. And I'll wear that with trainers because there's a big possibility that the air comes on and it could be fucking freezing or it could be hot. So then regardless, I have an outfit that I can wear that's gonna be neither too hot too cold no, or too cold. So all that remains is to pack my makeup and stuff, which I'll do later after I've had a shower. I'll, put, I'll start prepping it in a bit, but it won't take too long to do that. Um, I need to put some sheets in my bed, but that doesn't take very long. And uh, put my, hang my washing up that just finished, which I'll do in a bit too. Still need to take the dogs away, but I'll do it in the afternoon. I think what I'm going to do now is have a nap not have a nap, let's have a coffee to chill out for a bit, just relax a little bit and then I'll do sort out my makeup and my makeup products I will stick in that carry-on bag and then uh, at around lunchtime I will eat again and uh, walk the dogs as well but I think for now I need to sit down and have a coffee I think basically. Feeling a little sad Feeling a bit sad about putting the dogs in the hotel because I've not ever been like a whole week without them. Even longer than a week, to be honest. I'm not picking them up until Thursday next week. So it's just making me feel a bit sad. I know the cat's going as well, but I just don't have the same sort of bond with the cat as what I do with the dogs. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my cat, but my dogs are different. My dogs were there for me through like some of the hardest times of my life, you know, so the bond is just different but I feel a bit sad and I'm kind of like I can't really do much now because I want to do cleaning but I can't do that until the dogs are gone and the cat is gone because I want to like shake everything out and uh, some of the blankets and stuff need to go with them so they have like their own smell for the where they're staying uh, and I want to like hoover and clean and stuff but with animals, you do it and literally within 10 minutes it's dirty again, so I don't want to do all the work for it and then just be covered in hair again. So, I'm a bit like, I don't really know what to do. So, I'm supposed to just be relaxing, which I am. Like, I'm kind of watching uh, the last season of Game of Thrones, I never saw it. And, uh, just relaxing, but, I don't know, I just feel, I feel a bit anxious, to be honest. And I just feel, I just feel sad. I'm not gonna have my dogs around for so long. I'm a little bit like worried about how I'm looking. Uh, Yassine did say that I was looking very good. Like he's really happy with how I'm looking, so that's good. But I don't know. It's like moments like this where I really notice that I like I don't really think about that I'm alone all the times because it's just like it's wherever. But in times like this, it'd be nice to have somebody family or you know not so much like friend as well but I do have friends but obviously they don't live around me but I mean like you know what I mean so anyway all right so it's 4 30 we've come to the dog hotel so let's drop off the troublemakers I'm gonna miss them all right the doggies are indeed dropped off Right, so the doggies are dropped off and now I have to go back home, so let's go and do that. What's that, sorry? I don't know what it means. Some kid told me something but I don't know what that means. Or maybe something with my tyres I guess, but I don't know, anyway. now fucking journey home begins which is gonna be long as fuck and I kinda need to pee half an hour it's not so bad many hours later it's like quarter past one I come back I came back even I hoovered 
I prepared some food to take with me for tomorrow. I cooked up my rice and my first meal. I mopped the floors. I had a nap for an hour. I felt really tired. Um, I've had a shower as well as you can tell. I've pretty much finished packing. The only thing that is left to do now is that I need to do wherever dishes is left. I need to just eat another meal, my last meal of the day, which is going to be 100 grams of rice, 150 grams of chicken, and some vegetables. Um, I sorted out the sofa from hair, and uh, yeah, so and I just need to pack my makeup away because obviously I couldn't do that because I've just been putting on my makeup. So, I need to take this. This is my battery, spare batteries as well. Put my batteries for vlogging, just in case I need them all. I put them in my sack here. Let's double check that my passport is in here, which it is. Okay, so. I'm going to eat this, look at the inside for a bit, and then get going. So, yeah, I need to take the rubbish out as well. So, yeah, get going around 10 o'clock. I need to see how far it is actually, that I don't get there too early, but I do want to get there a little bit early. Mm, go from there, really. So on the way to the bus station we are, I actually forgot my camera so I had to go back to get it which is okay because I was thirsty so get some water too. Luckily I only drove down the road so I could just turn back quickly but uh, yeah, hopefully the rest of the journey will go a bit better. Alright, I'm on the bus, the only thing is I don't know how to get my bloody seat up, it's kind of like reclined a bit but uh, it's quite busy to be honest. Bit of a nightmare to get here. Like I had to go up and down the stairs with like all of my luggage, but I mean, so it's fine. So I guess I'll see you when I get to Bucharest. All right. So I'm having a bit of an issue with my. Well, I've arrived in Bucharest, as you can tell. However, now I'm having a problem with the apartment that I can't get in. So I am just at McDonald's having a macchiato looking very tired and uh, I need to just figure out how I can um, get into this apartment to be honest so I'll uh, I'm just gonna have a coffee charge my phone a bit and then see if I can get a hold of these people while using the Wi-Fi here so I'm finally in the apartment and fucking hell that was a mission to find it because I've got three big luggages with me, I have to walk up and down the street so many times. Oh, I feel a little sweaty from it. Anyway, I'm in now. I need to check in, but honestly, I just want to really just lay down for a second. Rest my legs, even though I've been sat on the bus, but it's uncomfortable when it's laying on the bus. Or laying, sitting on the bus. So the journey went alright, actually. I slept for most of it, but like... On and off sleeping, you know what I mean? Like sleep for 10 minutes, wake up, wake, sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up. So I don't actually feel that tired right now. Um, I really do want to have a shower as well, but I'll do that in a couple of hours. Uh, get changed as well, because it's actually quite hot here. So I want to put on some shorts and just um, something a bit more summery and uh, cool. I haven't heard from Dino yet. Let's see if he's come back to me yet. I think I'm just going to lay here for a second. I'll need to eat in a bit as well. I want to have a shower. I'm just going to relax because it's been kind of stressful this last hour or so trying to like get here. Uh, and like I don't understand lay either. So I don't know. Like the guy charged me like a hundred lay for the taxi. I don't even know how much money that is. 
Uh, hold on. So the guy charged me 20 euros. <laughs> That's a bit fucking steep, isn't it? He didn't even drive me around that much. He literally took me... Like, I don't know if that's expensive for Romania or not, because I don't understand the, the currency, but 20 euros for like a 10 minute cab drive, I think is quite expensive. But at the end of the day, I managed to get cash with him. He dropped me off at the McDonald's that was near this apartment, so I didn't have to walk too far if they did come back to me, which they did luckily. And he let me use his hotspot. Oh, so, you know, it's expensive, but whatever, he gave me a good service, so... Perhaps there's a tip in there as well. I think I think maybe like 50 lay would have been more appropriate, but what can I do? I've paid it now. I feel really exhausted. Like, um, but not like tired, sleepy tired, just like drained. Probably from an uncomfortable bus ride. Um, so yeah. I think just lay here. I don't eat some food in a second. Maybe I'll walk out to see if I can get some more caffeine. Maybe I'll try and have a nap again. All right, so since you last saw me, I'm talking like this because I'm kind of semi-naked, but I'm covering my cleavage and I'll try to edit it so you can't see anything. But basically I decided to have a salt bath with just normal salt, not Epsom salt, because I felt like I wanted to relax. So I walked to the shop and I got some salts and some Diet Cokes and stuff like that. And the results are Pretty insane. Hold on. See if I can film it in a way. Ooh, try to not get my boobies in there. Look at all the vascularity, guys. And for the peak week, we are literally not really doing anything crazy. Tomorrow, I'm drinking a lot more water. And I'm cutting back on some carbs, and that's it. I'm looking a bit bloated in my belly because, well, one... Your girl needs to have some laxatives, and two, just uh, like being in a bus and stuff like that, always gives me a little bit of uh, bloating, but that will go away. But crazy, yeah. I've never been vascular like this. I even have luck, you can even start seeing the, the striations coming through in my quad. Mental. Meal two is 150 grams of chicken, 100 grams of rice, some mustard, spinach, cucumber, spring onions. And that's it. Alright, so we are in a new environment and I'm here with an old friend of the channel. Me Dean. again. Yeah, <laughs> and his girlfriend, Diana. Hello. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna chill out here for a bit and then I need to connect to your Wi Fi. Yes, of course. And I need to find out what my, well, I was gonna say my husband. What my coach is doing. My coach is not my <laughs> husband. I've never met the man, but I need to find out. Oh, that's really weird. I don't even know where that came from, my husband. That's, Friday and slip. That's Maybe really strange. No, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know. He's not my type. But besides that point, um, oh, we've got a cat here too. Oh, hold on. Look at that chunky guy. Girl, he's a, she's a girl, huh? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Her Super name is Meowgi. Meowgi. Super friendly. Doesn't like to always stay in the hands. Oh my gosh, she's so big. Compared compared to my to my little uh, Violet. Violet is like, I'll pick her up, pick her up with like one arm, like, you like, know. Yeah. So oh cute. my god. So yeah, she's the reflection of him. Is it? Yeah. That. <laughs> And must be lazy. <laughs> That's like my, my Daisy is like that. My day everybody thinks that Daisy's overweight, but she's not. She's just really fucking buff because yeah. I walk her a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and she pulls a lot as well, and she's always just like she's just like a very buff little dog, basically. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, um, we're, we're just gonna catch up and stuff, I guess. And then I'm gonna at some point. Was, were you gonna come with me when I go with my coach, or uh, if you want, if you want me to, if it's allowed, I'm I don't know. Like down. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Like oh, that, yeah, definitely like, down because it's, the venue's close by either way. I don't know if we're gonna go there. I don't know where he is. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I'm definitely down. Are you coming to the things as well tomorrow? Yes. Okay, cool. So tomorrow, all right. Let me just try to think. So tomorrow I need to check in and I'll talk with my coach about that if I can check in when he's there. Okay. Just because I think, well, last time when I was there, the queue was like insane. Oh, like wow. if I didn't, 
if I wasn't with Zayna, I would have been stood out there for like three, four hours. At least I'm not, I'm not joking. They oh fucked God. up. They fucked up that checking massively. It's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna go with my coach because I know he has a couple of male athletes and they check in earlier. So I think I'll just be like, can I just like can come, come with, with you and do the check in, and then we can look at the seminar at the same time whilst we're there. Yeah. And then for Saturday in the morning, I'm actually doing a trial run on another client of his, uh, the makeup for her. Because she asked me to do, he asked me if I could do her makeup, which is fine, but I need to know how long it roughly is going to take me. So I'm do a, try out different looks as well, so I know what I look to go for instead of doing something and go like, oh, that looks like shit. Yeah, it's so, Saturday I'm there, Sunday I'm also there, she bought the ticket just for Sunday. Yeah, so Sunday I'll probably just go in the afternoon because I have my tan at... 12-ish, something mm -hmm. like that is my tan. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday, my tan is early in the morning, so I'm just gonna go there and then I'll do her makeup afterwards. Huh. So yeah, looks like some plans are kind of being set in action. <laughs> Lots of things to think about. <laughs> All right guys, so we have come to the apartment that I am renting for the next few days. I've uh, got the little kitchen here, which I actually need to see what pots and pans they do, if any. Um, because how am I going to cook things if I don't have the proper appliances? Which it doesn't look like I have. Alright, there's the tiniest fridge. That's not particularly helpful, is it? But okay. Uh, is there in here? No. 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 All right, so I was gonna bring my little George Foreman grill and I didn't, and I regret it now. Anyway, uh, so there's a bathroom here, nothing in particular, and then there's the bedroom here with the bed. It's all right, isn't it? I think what I'm gonna do now is unpack. And then, uh, actually I need to get some water. I think what I might do first of all is actually just walk to the shop to get myself some water and get myself some pots and pans and stuff. And then I'll unpack afterwards because I won't be able to chill without that anyway. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll put my food away first and then do that. So I just come back from the shop to get a couple of bits, mostly water. I got water, a salad, some Diet Cokes, and I was gonna get some pots and pans because there's no pots and pans here. So I messaged them and they're like, yeah, it doesn't come equipped with like cooking stuff. And I'm like, so people rent an apartment with a kitchen, but bring their own pots and pans. That doesn't sound right to me. So now I have to fucking go on a mission to find pots and pans. Now, if I had known that I have to bring my own fucking cooking supplies, I obviously wouldn't have rented this. Like you can rent somewhere with a kitchen because you expect it to have a kitchen that has at least a frying pan and a, pot and a pot, but apparently not. Mental. He's my hero. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with my chicken is literally I'm going to poach it. So basically I'm going to bring this water to the boil. Once it's boiling, I'll turn the heat off. Then because they're thin fillets, I'll just leave it sit in the hot water for like 10 minutes or so and then they'll be cooked. The steak all pan frying there. Good morning. It's a Friday morning and I slept for pretty much. 12 hours almost 11 hours actually my dear doctor friends gave me some sleeping aids and they worked fucking magic i was exhausted as well though but oh i fell asleep at around eight o'clock i think last night and it's uh, 7 30 now i've just had some coffee had some water had a pee put on a little bit of makeup just my eyebrows and some lip gloss because i'm gonna do my check-in my weight was 69.1 this morning, so that means I lost a kilo and a half overnight. Uh, it's less for sure, but um, you know, your girl still hasn't been to the toilet. So, you know, there's a lot of food in there for several days now. Um, so that explains that, but I'm feeling like I'm looking really good. I feel really well rested. I just want to get my check-in done, so then what I can do is 
get dressed, walk to the shop, buy the water that I need because I need to drink 10 liters today. And um, yeah, just chill out, get back here, put on a movie, uh, do some comment section, do some DMs and just chill out. And then probably at around lunchtime, I'll hook up with uh, Dino and uh, Diana. We'll head towards the venue, get registered and watch the seminar. So come back and then I'll probably just chill out again to be honest guys because I do need to do that stretch chill out do some posing practice maybe have a nap just that's the key is to not do too much not walk too much not just stress at all that's the key just to be ultra relaxed basically so yeah I guess I'll uh, get my suit on start doing some posing practice guys so I've just spent the last hour or two just doing my makeup I walked to the shop got some coffee got some water had my breakfast I think I'll do something like this for my stage makeup but just like deepening in the outer corners and obviously have foundation and stuff on but I do like this kind of look on me uh, fake eyelashes as well but yeah I think I'll do something like this nothing too crazy heavy because it doesn't look nice on stage um, I'm just about to do dishes now, clean the kitchen, and then just lay back there and watch some YouTube, go through some comment sections and just do things like that at around 12 o'clock. We will go to the venue and uh, yeah, try and register, look at the seminar and then can, I'm going to come back here and just chill out again. So yeah, it's going all right so far. The Yassine might change my food around later. My next meal is going to be 100 grams of chicken with 100 grams of rice with cucumber. So yeah, it's all good really. Um, having a good day so far. Sleep is amazing. Turns out it makes you feel very good. Oh, and in case you're wondering what the outfit of the day is. So I'm just wearing a sports bra by Better Buddies. And I have some shorts on. And then what I will do is I will wear wedgies with this when I go to the venue so that my legs look nice. So yeah, just a, just a little update. Today's going pretty good so far. Battery's running low so I best change that. Clean my kitchen and then I guess I'll uh, be back with you guys when I'm heading towards the venue because I'm not really going to do an awful lot until then. So yeah. Mm, it's 12.30 and I just slept for like <sighs> an hour and a half I think it's kind of nice to be honest I'm um, just about to eat I don't know if you can see oh, there we go 100 grams of rice 100 grams of chicken 100 grams of cucumber and I'm gonna have that with some salt and pepper um and then I'll finish my third litre of water. And then I'll do another check-in with Yasin. Because he asked me to do a midday check-in to see how I'm looking. And uh, I guess to know what to do with water and stuff like that. Okay. <sighs> well, initially he wanted me to drink 10 litres. And then he dropped to 7. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to eat this and then I'll check in. And then uh, I will be going out soon to go to the pharmacy, get a couple of bits and then head to the venue for the seminar and I'll pack two meals as well just to be on the safe side. Alright, it's time to do a midday check-in.
Right, so it's a few hours later and I am reunited with uh, Dino over here. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're just walking to the pharmacy because I need to get some dandelion root and vitamin C because I'm fairly sure he's gonna do the vitamin C dandelion root dehydration method, which is like all natural. I'm not sure, but I assume so. Um, so, and then we're gonna go to the venue, see if I can hopefully check in, hold on. See if I hopefully can check in early if not, we'll just watch the seminar. I've got my food and my water with me. Uh, I'll meet up with Yasin. I'll try and see if he wants to go on camera, but we'll see. Like, I'm kind of like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. If he's like game or not. Like, I don't want to insist on like the first time I meet him, be like, oh, I stick a camera on his face, you know? So, but maybe he's game, we'll see. Um, and then I need to register. Hopefully I can register before, but if not, I'll just have to do it afterwards. And then uh, afterwards, I'll probably just go back to the apartment and chill out for the rest of the evening. Just keep as calm as possible, you know? So, but it's very, very, very hot here. That's for sure. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I'm just at the Marriott Hotel, eating some food. Oh, look, and my coach appears. Hey. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you, Dina. Listen. I was going to do some vlogging, but never mind. <laughs> All right, so I just had to have a quick check, check in with the coach. He's very happy, and I'm looking on point, basically. Like, I'm literally looking on point. All I need to do is get tanned, which is not today, that's tomorrow. But uh, yeah, apparently tomorrow is going to be quite different. Lots of egg whites, lots of rice. Um, We'll see. So I do have to go. He's going to send it across to me. Uh, but on the way back, I'll, I will have to stop up at the supermarket at least just to get some uh, bits and bobs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all right. Let's do a check in. And I'll uh, I'll just eat my food in the queue, I think. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy hair though. Oh my god, uh, cat hair. <laughs> I know. Uh, right. Now look, he still has the left heel up. See how he's posing tall? small waist and this tilt here i call flex wheeler if you look at flex wheeler he was one of the first ones to introduce this he had a small waist and then he's doing that so terence is the sequel to flex wheeler on this pose hit it one more one more time terence rear double bass up all right big things here you want to really keep that low thing about the left ball down. So now we've got to do the, the heights, yeah. the checking in, getting the uh, the badges, the freebies and all of that. So, yeah. And it looks like I'm representing. I'm putting over here better light. Yeah, there we go. It looks like I'm representing Bulgaria, guys. <laughs> guys so i'm back at the hotel i am in my comfy clothes i looked at that leg though can you see it i don't think you even can see anyway so honestly this has been such a nice day. I am in such high spirits. I don't even feel hungry or tired considering I've had, well, I don't feel tired because I had a nap earlier and I slept for 12 hours. 
but I just feel really motivated and like this has been the best peak week I've ever had like I'm on very low calories today I probably am eating like around 1200 but it's just been like it's been nice because the seminar was good uh, we managed to get through the check-ins quickly um, obviously I met my coach he's like sound as fuck he's not a man of many words but he's a good guy like he's nice I met two of his other competitors so Anastasia who's a bodybuilder and I met Evelina who is bikini um, I'm gonna do Evelina's makeup uh, for the show so tomorrow afternoon she's gonna come here gonna do a trial all around with two different eye looks and then we're gonna go to the venue together to tan and then uh, on the, after show day or uh, on show day tomorrow in the mornings we tan around the same time and then backstage I'm just gonna be chilling out and doing her makeup and because I like doing makeup it's like really relaxing for me so for me it's like perfect and yeah like I, I just you know I'm very grateful for Dino like he's been extremely helpful like helping carrying things and filming things and you know just just helping all around like he got me some pots and pans and it's been it's been a really really good experience so far like this prep has been like a lot easier in many ways but so far just this trip has been really good i've enjoyed my stay in romania so far even though i haven't seen much and uh yeah we'll see well, the only thing is uh, i really want to score a date for third tuesday night i want to i want to have a, i want to dress up and go out on tuesday night basically so yeah it's all pretty good to be honest so I don't, I don't know what to say. It's uh, around seven o'clock now. I'm just going to chill. I'm going to have a shower in a bit, do my whole scrubbing and my shaving. Tomorrow morning I'll get up and uh, wash my hair and do all the prep for that. Then in the afternoon, I, I've been told, I was going to go and look at the show, but basically I've been told to be in bed. I've been told to rest in bed and nap and sleep and just relax as much as possible. I'm going to eat a lot of carbs. I uh, yeah, just chill basically I've been told to do that so that's that's what I'll do I'll just stay here watch YouTube watch live streams and eat food eat carbs chill out nap and just be as relaxed as possible and go to the venue in the afternoon uh, in the evening six o'clock to tennis and then come back and relax some more and then it's show day it's pretty mental but I've had two people now tell me Yasin said that I was looking really good um, really nice condition and uh, more conditioned than other wellness competitors he's seen and Dino said the same thing that he saw a couple of girls and that they were like not as conditioned as what I am but you seen this like yeah you're looking really good like like you know really on point so that's very reassuring to hear and it's interesting because I got some uh, I think you would have seen in the footage or if not it'd be on the pictures on my Instagram just to see me next to a bikini competitor, but also to see me next to an actual female bodybuilder. It's like, it's nice and day. So yeah, I'm really, I'm having a really good time. So I'll probably end this vlog soon after my last meal. And then we'll have the show, the the peaking for the show day vlog, as well as the, sh the, the day before the show day, as well as the show day vlog. And I think we'll probably finish show day quite early. And then depending on what happens, depending on, because I don't know, maybe we'll end up going out with the, the, with, the, with Team Nasir and having some food at the hotel. Maybe I'll go out with Dino and the missus and go somewhere, I don't know. But uh, I know for sure on Monday I'll be celebrating it's Dino's birthday. So me and Evelina are actually going to go to his birthday party and we're going to go out and have lots of good times. So yeah, exciting times ahead for sure. Uh, I'm feeling in a really, really good mood and it's very nice very nice but now i need to have a diet coke um just chill out all right guys so it is 8 30 and i've just had a shower did my whole lubing thing and i'm gonna have my last meal of the day which is 15 grams of nuts which is pistachios 100 grams of chicken and 100 grams of cucumbers and i'm gonna have that with this coke that they do here it's a special edition one it's marshmallow it's actually fucking delicious to be honest so I'm going to have that, watch some uh, YouTube Underground and then go to bed soon. And then tomorrow morning, I'm just going to spend my day in bed eating carbs, napping, watching YouTube and eating carbs, basically. And not drinking. That's going to be challenging, but I can do it. Maybe a little bit of water here and there. So, this is the end of this vlog. Uh, I have premiered this. So Thank you to all of you who were in the premiere with me. I don't do them often, but for special occasions like this, it is warranted. 
So, to finish the video, if you've made it this far, insert a four leaf clover emoji to wish me luck. The next vlog is gonna be pre-show day and show day. And I will premiere that tomorrow. So, exciting times ahead. Thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow in the premiere. Bye.